Howdy folks, we're over here at the table saw on a Monday here, and this was uh, made on a 3D printer. I really like it, I love it, still used it this day to you know, run lumber through the saw. But I was wondering, is there something just a little bit easier for everybody to get a hold of? Because this was made on a 3D printer by myself, and if you don't have access to a 3D printer or a buddy with a 3D printer, this thing is gonna be almost impossible to find or get. However, is there a next level to the price line of what you can buy on this? Well, yeah, there is. And we're gonna talk about it right here, right now, today, and we are gonna put it to the test. All right, hang with me. So the first thing we noticed was the Milescraft brand name. We've given them some of their tools out on the show before, and uh, they've had good prices for pretty good tools. So the only because of that, I decided, you know, this might be a, the Grabber Pro. You know, it might be a pretty good item. So we're gonna get the box open and have a look at this monkey. Yeah, let's get her out. And the first thing I wanna check for, and you guys probably already know, well, well, apparently it's uh, we've got to do some assembly work here. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to look at is this right here. This was this was <laughs> I was waiting to see this. They got a nice rubber pad under here that's kind of like a non-slip uh, rubber to it. So I got a piece of wood because you know, like I said, I, this is the first thing I want to know about, and it's good and heavy. The handle is really nice on this thing, but. Okay, yeah, she is, yep, without a doubt, she is, I'll try to hold the wood here. Yep, she is, wow, that is holding, that is grabbing, so, the grabber is grabbing, so that's a good thing right there. Uh, the features are pretty much the same as some of these other similar ones. This one's a bit longer, yeah, a little bit longer than mine, which is cool. But they also said uh, you could use this for, like, you know, running wood through band saws, joiners, uh, besides the table saw. And I think there's a few other uh, power tools that they mentioned that, you know, this would be handy for. Uh, me, I'm just looking at the table saw today, of course. The other thing they've got is this drop-down uh, block back here so that if you're doing a wide piece of board or something, you can uh, put this down behind you so your grabber is going to, you know, lock onto a piece of wood like that, you know, and then that gives you absolute sure stability that when you're pushing through the saw you're going to go through the only problem i see with this right now is you would need a fairly wide board that you're cutting if you're cutting anything narrow where your blade's coming up through here obviously you want this completely off and out of the way you don't even want to be using it at that point uh, this knob here and this knob here at the front loosen a round piece of metal bar and that'll allow you to space these out the way you want them. Right now you've got, uh, I've got, uh, where's the other plate here? Oh boy, lost it already. Hmm. I've got a one eighth plate here, a quarter inch, a half inch, and a full one inch. So you've got, they try to give you ideas, I guess, of spacing so you can get this set up the way, you know, the way you want it. So that's pretty good. The handle is on an angle, which kind of, uh, I thought at first that might be a little awkward. But the idea is that when you're going through your saw, that angle uh, will allow, to, allow you to you know, comfortably uh, run through like this with the uh, table saw. So that's really, that is not a bad little feature right there. This handle, man, that's amazing how heavy that is. But it's a very good, comfortable, solid handle, which, which is needed, yeah, definitely for something like this. Wow, hmm. The other power tool, of course, that this uh, would be handy for would be a router. <laughs> that would be, you know, that would be another one where you could put that on the wood when you're having to work with a router and help keep your hands away from uh, getting into the router. I don't know of too many people that do that, but I guess it does happen. I'm going to take this off. So far, everything checks out pretty good. The this plate here mounts to this side here, which will get, like I said, will give you all the different sizes. So this could be the size of your board that you're wanting to uh, press on to drive through the uh, saw. The uh, other thing I got to mention right away is uh, we will be provide we'll provide a link in the description below where you can get this, uh, hopefully at a pretty reasonable or discount price right now. They're somewhere around $35 to $39, I think it is right now. And plus might be some shipping involved, I don't know. Uh, this, this is, uh, I believe, 
well worth it if you're looking for something like this and you don't want to spend the big dollars on some of the fancier ones this one will give you all the features of everything in a grabber and at the same time it's not going to cost you the <laughs> arm and a leg <laughs> and a thumb yeah good old table saws um the router would be a the more i think about it, the router would be kind of an, a neat uh yeah that would be a neat item because you could uh, use this to power through a router and your hands are completely away from everything moving around and it grabs really well enough that uh, I don't think there'd be too much trouble there. I uh, took this off because I want to check this. They've got these little rubber uh, like O-rings or something holding these on. So I'm trying to figure out why uh, they didn't give me another set of those so I could, you know, slap this on. But I guess I have to steal a pair of these or I have to steal those because there was nothing more uh, in the box. Yep, for fittings, that was it. So, for some reason, they give you a nice uh, book here that breaks the whole thing down in parts and whatever. And it looks like, yeah, I've got the number 10s, uh, which is this piece, yeah, okay. And the other thing that we can look at with this, of course, is this, uh, this side piece. Now, this is something that, uh, really can be used for a lot of different applications and I'm not going to take the whole show up to deal with it because it gets kind of sophisticated but you can use this for certain applications where you, you need to maybe even screw something on here to help guide with something going through where you're doing like a specialty cut. Uh, it also of course stabilizes this side if you, if you need it you know for something small that you're ripping through like you're you know doing a quarter inch piece of wood off of something you can do it and so this, this rubber grab is really good it's a soft rubber not like the other one that uh <clears throat> i complained about uh oh, months ago so yeah the milescraft grabber pro comes in this nice little box and it comes from milescraft which I, which they've made some pretty good stuff they've got uh They've got English on the box here somewhere. I'm looking for the English. <laughs> yeah, uh, t router, table, bandsaw, table saw. There's your three big, big ones right there. And they're showing the applications even with the uh, router table, which I like the way they've got that laid out. And you can, you know, you've got a lot of control on the board. Your hands are nowhere near the router. The bandsaw situation, uh, that is really, I have, I have never owned a bandsaw that you could do that with. You must have to have a really good bandsaw for that one. And of course, the table saw is really weird. Because in the picture, they show the blade slicing through this plate at the back, like I was telling you about. I would have taken it off so that it didn't get destroyed. But for some reason, I guess over time, it's okay to run the blade through there, cut that plastic up a little bit, and you'll have a slot that you can, your blade will go through all the time. I, yeah, I'm kind of on the, on the side. Comments, comments about, here, there's the picture. Comments about that below. <laughs> yeah. The, the features are all over the box here, which kind of makes a, a bit of a, looks like a menagerie of different ideas or things going on but it, like i said minimizes the contact prevents prevents kickback which we all seem to be kind of on the uh you know worried about kickback on a table saw and that's definitely one way to definitely get away from kickback is to have that much control and that much pressure on the board so there's no way that board can get get a hold of something you know and get up there and get going in your face Wowee, interesting tool. Before moving any further on, I guess if you had to have only one, and I had the choice between this one or the Milescraft Grabber Pro, uh, be honest with you, I'd take the Grabber Pro. I think this is a nicer unit than the one I made on the uh, 3D printer. Although this one's been pretty cool when I made it. Uh, I do like the quality and the size and everything and the weight that they've got on this thing. This thing looks like a really nice build for the price. So, yeah, we're going to recommend it. <laughs> yeah. So the bottom line today is, yeah, this is good quality uh, and I definitely like it. And it's definitely a keeper around the shop here for sure. Uh, in fact, I am probably looking at uh, at some point, I think we'll maybe we'll just ditch this one and you know keep this guy. Uh, because of legalities with uh, YouTube, I have to tell you that the, the link below in the description will, yes, it will go towards helping the channel. I have to tell you that by law through YouTube. So anyways, I did, right? So I said it. 
And uh, guys, thank girls, thanks for uh, dropping by on Monday here to see what we're up to. This is a, if you got a table saw or a router table, uh, any of these things, man, this is a, if you're thinking about something like this, this is a good buy and I like the quality. Wow, it's a good quality build. It's a, it's a nice item. You heard it from me. <laughs> now, how do you get it past the wife? Okay, comments below. See if you can help some of these other poor guys out is to, you know, when the wife says, why do you need this? See that, you know, they always ask that, right? So, you know, so you can get through. Anyways, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, we will see you Thursday with a draw and more tools coming in. So, great. See you guys over now.